Hey, it's Joe Glines, and uh, I just want to demonstrate. Um, I saw this solution by C.A. Chan on a, the forum for finding text and clicking it. Um, this was his original solution down here, and there's nothing wrong with it. Um, it's just staging. Basically, you're building the variable first, and then building the XPath and putting it there, and then taking that and putting it inside your, your call to the uh, method. Um, what I did, and so this return here is stopping this below here from running, um, as I just kind of rewrote it a little bit to not have to store the X path and um, here, of course, you still got to create the variable, but I wouldn't necessarily have to do that, uh, but I can just call to it right here. And so I'm going to demonstrate this. Let me launch my script here. And when I run it, you're going to see it goes to my automator web page um, and it's looking for continue reading and it's here. It actually already clicked it. If we go back here, um, I told it to look for continue reading and it clicked it and went to that page um that is also let me let me point out here that's case sensitive and so if, if this i put it as a lower kc and reload it and launch it um, what's interesting is it'll come up and it looks for it but if we get a um an error if i remember right here it pops up here after a bit and gives you an error and so of course that you could turn that off by the uh, warning error, you know, turn off the errors to get notified. But um, I wouldn't necessarily like that built in there. So I guess you could use an if statement or a try. We could use a try there and that would take care of it. Anyway, just thought it was a cool solution. Um, I do a lot of the same things in IE. It's just doing it in Selenium, um, which I don't really use that much. But it is, I, I know a lot of people want to browse with Chrome and, and be able to do stuff with it as well and automate it. So thought you'd like that. Thanks.